Hey guys, this is me, Ray Knight one and I'm talking about the Pokemon Direct. Now, for those of you who don't know, there was a Pokemon Direct yesterday. So before you continue, if you haven't watched it, there will be spoilers ahead. You've been warned. Anyway, the Pokemon Direct was pretty good in my opinion. They really showed a good amount, but at the same time, they left a lot of questions unanswered. Now, what I mean, well, what they showed off was Dynamax. Now, what is Dynamax? Well, it's where you make your Pokemon basically giant, like, and they can fight other giant Pokemon, and they can probably fight other little Pokemon as well. I'm assuming this gives them like a power boost and stat boost and everything. And they have these areas where four players can get together and face a Dynamax Pokemon to try to catch it, or to not catch it, or just to beat it, it seems like. And only one person in that battle can actually use their Dynamax ability, and they can only use it once, I think. I guess it's similar to Mega Evolution, except not, because Mega Evolution actually, like, turn your Pokemon into something different, while this is just a giant version. But I could see where they're kind of going with this. Like, they're, they're adding new stuff, and it's cool, but with Mega Evolution, I think what was cool was that it was kind of just turning your Pokemon into these ultra versions of themselves. I didn't feel like using the word Mega again. And with... Dynamax is more just like a big version, so I'm not exactly sure how it'd work out. I just feel like people are going to abuse that in battle, like online battles and stuff. I feel like people are going to be able to find ways to just like abuse the Dynamax ability. Even though he showed us like how gyms would look and Dynamax and whatnot, they still left a lot of questions unanswered. Like, who's the main bad guy in this game? Is it Team Rocket again? Or is it maybe that Team Red, I think they were called in X and Y? Not sure. Also, like, what are going to be the limits in Dynamax? Because, like I said, I think people are going to take advantage of it. Are you only going to be able to use it once, like, at all during battle? Or are you going to be able to just use it when you fill up a bar or something like that? And how will people meet for these co-op battles? Will, will you have to invite them to your world? Or will it be like an MMO where you walk around and you can see people on the server? So there were, are still questions there, but this was a really good direct, in my opinion. Straight and to the point. And they showed off some stuff, like wild battles are back. Remember Pokemon Let's Go and Eevee where you saw the Pokemon? No, 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 you don't do that anymore. You go into the grass and boom, they randomly appear again, it seems like. And that's good in my opinion. So this is shaping out to be a good game. And I'm glad that they're finally, I mean, in my opinion, it's been so long since we've had like a full Pokemon RPG on a home console. I think there was like one for the GameCube. But other than that, it was basically just handheld. So... I'm looking forward to this, I'll probably be getting it, and the release date is November 15th, 2019, so we don't have too long to wait. Anyway, what do you guys think about the Pokemon Direct? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, remember to like, share, and subscribe, may God bless you all.